What's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Hella Hungry. I'm in New York City with it today. I'm at the famous Thai diner where they have this Thai cheesesteak. I kept seeing it on my newsfeed, so I had to pull up to see if it's valid or not. And I read that it's the top five New York City restaurant, period. So it has to be good, right? And my boy Nono kept talking about it. So we met up, Nono and his homie, and let's go see what it's hitting for. You see this guy with the Muay Thai elbow, it has to be. If the food don't hit, I'm gonna be mad. But as soon as we walked in, the vibes were vibing. They were playing Cambodian music, which caught me off guard, but I, I'm here for it. And they had all kinds of beautiful traditional decorations, and they even had Buddhist monk pictures. Hey. I felt like I was in Thailand. The menu was really nice. It has your traditional Thai food as well as Thai American fusion as well. But let me go ahead and take a bite of this Thai cheese steak. The first bite was an explosion of flavors and the cheese was cheesy. It is hot and it's spicy, y'all. It's not real spicy. It's mad red. Oh man, the, the seasoned ribeye with the Thai basil and the spices. Hey, hey, different. It's crazy now. Oh my god. You know, the hype is real. Look at they give me a little chili pepper too. Boy, no, no, Porter, say yeah, what up, my yeah, Cambodian, yeah, up? my Cambodian homie from Flatbush repping. We about to get some Thai cheese right. steaks. Let's get it. Vegan Thai cheese. Vegan. He said vegan. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> alright. All right. Basketball champ right here. Second place. Nah, not Second place. Second place, man. Hey, you still we made it to the finals. It. First time we made it to the finals, man. We're gonna blow. Asian. Okay. Three three. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The menu. Oh shit. Not the things over. Oh, they haven't been here like probably a year and a half, so two years ago, who knows? This is my spot during the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> Pandemic, this is, this is what do you usually get? Oh, oh, my first time too. Yeah. Well, I kept seeing that their Thai cheese steak. That's what I'm gonna try. So I'll let you guys know how it is. So I guess they use ribeye, like a hobie, and like a, I'm not sure what kind of cheese, but we'll, we'll find out. They have like lobster omelets and stuff. You know, their breakfast. They have a Thai diner egg sandwich. You know, but it is lively, it is packed, the ambiance is amazing, they got all kinds of artwork, it's like a rattan ceiling, I think, I think that's the type of material they use, and you can see people at the bar, eating, grubbing, they got like all kinds of beautiful decor, man, it's a vibe here, y'all. Alright, the Thai IC is arrived, Let's see what it's hidden for. Cheers, my bong. I haven't seen Nono since freaking 1954. He don't call me no more. He's too good. He got rich and switch, man. Nah, man. He got, he got famous. Now nah, you're a world traveler. You're over in Colombia. He in Medellin. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to Colombia. I got my passport now. Take me with you. Let's go shoot your music video. I got the Sony with me, too. You trying to shoot a video outside? Let's shoot a video. Cheers, y'all. Cheers, Thai tea. Oh, I didn't even mix it. Oh yeah, that tastes good. That was delicioso. Can't go wrong with Thai tea. I haven't had Thai tea in a minute, so nice and orange. Mm. So if you guys listen closely, they're playing Cambodian music at a Thai Thai restaurant. 
that makes me hella happy because I, I thought you guys didn't like us. I'm just playing. Yo, that's so, that's so awesome, man. I'm so happy. They're playing like a classic Cambodian song. Listen. Shout out to Thai Diner. Much respect for that, man. Salute. All right. The cheesesteak is in my presence, y'all. What's that? Trying to make room for his. So our booth is really tiny, you know what I mean? I got big muscles now, so there's like really less elbow room, you know what I'm saying? But this is the cheesesteak. As you can see, let me bust it open for y'all. It looks like some nice ribeye, some melted cheese, caramelized onions, Thai basil. I can smell the spice, probably a hella good seasoning, Asian herbs, maybe some yeah, I mean, I don't know. Let's just see. Let's just see what it's hitting for. Fries look like some standard crinkle fries. No, no, got the shrimp pad thai. Looks amazing. Look at them prawns on the pad thai. You got the vegan prawns, the roti kain. The ro what's it called? Roti kain. Roti kain. Roti kain. Yeah. That looks good too. Yeah, with the spicy red mushroom curry. You get a thumbnail for the culture. <laughs> Here he goes, guys. The famous Thai cheese steak. All right, I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm, a, I'm not trying to have all this cheese steak fall out while I eat it. Oh man! Lick the, my finger, and it tastes crazy already. First bite. Mmm. 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 It is hot and spicy, y'all. It's not real spicy. Take it a little messy, I already got it on my beard. It's mad red. Oh man, the, the seasoned ribeye with the Thai basil and the spices, it hit different. It's crazy how oh, man. South Asia, we have rice, Southeast Asia, I was low-key skeptical about this because, you know, they call it a Thai Philly cheesesteak. But, you know, I feel like if it's not made in Philly, they, can't, they shouldn't call it a Philly cheesesteak. Just call it a Thai cheesesteak. This is amazing, y'all. Let me know my people, my, let me know my Philly people. Should people that make cheesesteaks outside of Philly call it a Philly cheesesteak? We understand it's Philly style, but it gotta be made in Philly. But this right here is a Thai cheesesteak. And it tastes, it tastes Southeast Asian. Fused with like American cheese. I'm not sure what cheese it is. Probably American or cheddar. I don't know. It's delicious though. It's dripping. It's dripping. It's messy. And what you do, you pick it up. You pick <laughs> it up. Eat it. No food goes to waste. Mm -hmm. You know, the hype is real. I thought these influencers were capping on like, y'all, I better go. They better not be lying. I'm about to go all the way from Jersey to New York. And then, and if it's mid, I, I would have been pissed. I would have been pissed. Look, they give me a little chili pepper too. Spicy. Yeah, look how, look how beautiful the way. that is. <laughs> we could have we vlogged the whole New York City by now. I know, right? We want to move to West Bubble. <laughs> I try to come visit more often on my day off. Because New York is still the foodie capital. People fly all over just to come eat in New York, but I was so spoiled living here, like, damn, I don't even want to go no places. 
I hate going to the touristy spots. I hate going to Times Square. I can only do like five minutes to Times Square and I'm out of here. <laughs> and friends want to visit, like, let's go to Times Square. I'm like, man, I'm good. <laughs> I'd rather take them to Flatbush or the hood. See, see the real New York, you know what I mean? Go to East New York, Canarsie. I'll show you. <laughs> good food is good food. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Come to Queens, get some real Indian food, you know what I'm saying? Some Bangladeshi food. New York has everything. Everything. Have you tried the Cambodian food yet at Bayon? It's pretty good. The Bahok tea is legit. It's in uh, Upper West Side, I think. Or Upper East Side. The cheesesteak is phenomenal. I'm going I'm to kill it and give you my score. It's funny, we're playing Cambodian. The whole playlist is Cambodian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My parents will like it. They like it or no? They said they will like it. They're playing Cambodian music playlist. They're scoring major points with me right now. It's got to be like 1950, 1960. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yep. Indian music, music sounds just like this. This is some of the best cheese thing I had all year. I'm not even lying, yo. I wanted to hate, low key. I wanted to hate. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best cheese steak you had and you're not even in Philly. I'm not even in Philly. And <laughs> hey, you're not even in Thailand. I'm not even in Thailand either. So shout out to the chef. Whoever came up with this, yo. Compliments to the chef. Also, how come nobody told me about Thai diner, man? I thought we were friends. Because no invite. Wow, no invite. No, no, no. wow, no invite. <laughs> very good, very spicy, and it stays hot throughout the session. That's how you know it's good. They use quality ribeye, cheese. Oh, they use ribeye? Fused with like, you know, Asian spices, you know? Chili, Thai chili, Thai basil. The herbs and spices is there. It's like perfect. How's your pad tie, Nono? Is it valid? Uh oh. Let us know. Um, I don't know, man. I like it, but um. What can be improved? Well, what do you like about it? What do you like about it? What do I like about this? Uh, let me see. <laughs> I got my own. I got my own camera set up like this. I don't know how to use it like that. Because no. What do we like about this? Talking shit. I don't know, man. It's, I mean, it's, the only thing about Thai food for me is too sweet. Mm. You know, but um, the sriracha is not real sriracha. But, uh, bro, you could tell, you could tell by the drip. Oh, it's not, that's the only, that's 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 one of my biggest uh pet peeves about restaurants, huh? Maybe it's the Thai sriracha. You know, the other one with the black. Nah, that is a bootleg no, version. The, with the rooster. I would, I wish I would brought my own th uh, Thai chili peppers with me. Then I would have been alright. So it's good though, right? It's still good, right? No, it's good. It's good. But I'm really not a fan of that much pad thai. It's too sweet for me, you know? I love rice more than noodles, you know? Unless it's, it's in kateel and pho. Yeah, pad thai is like once in a blue for me. How about you? You can take the brown man out of India, but you can't take the India out the brown man. This is turmeric roti, something different, something new. I always eat it with whole wheat, but definitely a really good twang, good spice. The salon or the dal, it's sweet. It's savory. It's not, it's not bland and it's not spicy. It's very savory, very sweet. Mm. A lot of flavor, very robust. And for those who can't take spice and you want a nice little appetizer, go with the roti kang. Mm. Like branding, look at their branding. They even got it on their napkin. Mm. Oh, I forgot. I forgot all about the fries. Oh. <laughs> Let me try the fries. Let's see if this tastes good. I'm a fan of crinkle fries. You know, I mean, it reminds me of elementary school free lunch. For those who get free lunch, y'all some real ones. <laughs> Thank you.
Um, Pretty standard. Lowry's probably, salt and pepper. Not much to say about the fries. Just like any crinkle fries, but it's either salad or fries. I'm going to choose fries every time. Yes, sir. If I want a salad, you know, I go to salad works. <laughs> But yo, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the episode. This is a quick one I'm with my boys here in New York Bitty. Good to see Nono finally. You know? And I uh, hope to be back more often in New York. Because I'm not far. I'm only like a 45 minute train ride away. So I'm going to be here more often. And I'm going to explore some more spots. Show you guys how New York City gets down in the food scene. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>